of which we'll also look at Nasdaq, we'll go to gold, go to GU. And if we still have enough time left, we'll look into other things as well. So without wasting much time, you have stated this is the current uh order flow that are still we are still flowing in bullish order flow, just looking from the weekly time from perspective and or and whatever. But the most interesting thing is um the most interesting thing is the 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 major projection that I'm having even for once there are certain confirmations that we are just now waiting for to happen up there. Once they've happened, there is a major move that I'm anticipating, which is a, which is going obviously to be a major reversal on the weekly to somewhere somewhere around these levels. To somewhere somehow around, if not this level, if not this demand, it can even come to this one. So once those confirmations have happened up there, we'll definitely see something like this. Uh, then we shoot all the way to the upside, right? That's just a major preparation of a major move that most likely it's going to happen uh, in the next coming days or weeks, depending on when the confirmation is going to happen. But already I can begin to see the buyers losing momentum bit by bit, bit by bit. They are losing momentum to the upside. So here, the reason why you can use this internal level as your target is also a good one. Uh, because this is your internal structure, like the, like here, your last internal leg was this one. Here, they haven't created any any other leg up there, which is new. So, uh, on the daily, the first thing now that we want is to induce to the downside. If you notice something that is so profound, something that is so, something that will, will show you how powerful this trading methodology is, if you look at uh, the market from down here, right? The only time they induced to the upside was uh, down here. Uh, the only time they actually shifted structures to the upside was down here. After that, they never did any other downward inducement. If you notice here, yeah, this was a new high. This was actually in January. New high, new low, new high, new low. They failed to induce here. Had they induced, that pullback was going to actually happen, obviously, into this extreme order flow level or order flow uh, zone there. That was a new high, new high, new low, new high, new low, new high, new low. So currently, you can see that once you see the market doing this, once you see US theory, if it qualifies, if it manages to do this this week, definitely we have our a uh, bearish move that would have begun. Our first target, obviously, is this internal leg uh, target. If it comes and then shifts to the upside like this, it's also still fine because we we'll still have made good money to the downside like that. But that's that's a very important move that once you see it happen, you need to start celebrating because those major sales, they will actually hold for a very, 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 very long time. So... Looking now further up there, we are, that's the highest high that US dairy has ever gone. Uh, did it hit 40,000? Let me check. Uh, around uh, 30, around 39, 39.9 there. That's the highest that um, US dairy has ever gone. So looking looking at uh, things from a four-hour perspective, you literally see that here. We literally, we literally broke structure there. Uh, on the four hour, uh, okay, we also need them to come and check out this level. It was on the four hour that same level that you will be calling a daily inducement on a four hour, it actually be a four hour change of character right here on this zone, like this. That would be our change of character, like that. So this is our current structure just here on the four hour. Nothing much to plot above this since this is our highest that we've ever gone. Since that's the highest price that US Daily has ever gone so far. So right now, this is our current structure. There's nothing, nothing much to add out, not, not nothing much to add there on, on, on the analysis. People they can come and draw all sorts of trend lines. Those trend lines, they are as good as useless if ever the confirmations of real structure don't happen. For example, someone can come and draw a trend line like this, right? Then maybe another one at the bottom, like even here like this or like this, whichever way they want to draw it, right? Someone can come and draw something like this. In as much as 
there might not be anything wrong with that channel, right? But the most important thing are the confirmations of structure. If the confirmations of structure don't happen, that uh, channel or whatever will be good as useless. So going down lower again to the one hour, because if ever structure is like that on the four hour, there's nothing obviously that you're waiting for. On the one hour, I can I like the fact that they've been used to them. So if you're going to mark our levels on a one hour time frame, we're going to mark some levels on a one hour time frame. Let me just remove this. I don't necessarily need this personally myself. So uh, looking at structure, they, that was our previous higher high, swing higher high. That was a higher low. Uh, that was That's now a higher high. So most likely, if ever they are, if ever they are still going to keep on buying, we anticipate them to come, drop, wipe, wipe some liquidity before they just keep on going up. There's liquidity here. Um, below this level, there's liquidity. Uh, we have an untapped demand right there, which is an extreme demand. So if even if they are going to keep on buying, uh, at least we want them to come and wipe certain liquidities that, that we are basically seeing all the way here at the bottom. Even here, there is also liquidity that is lying below this level here. So right now, that inducement, it, 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 it's the beginning of our uh, bearish, uh, bearish move to the downside. So all you just now need to do on the downside perspective is simply to identify the correct structure to the downside. Once you identify the correct structure, the correct legs to, to the downside, then you just take advantage of that. So you're looking at what, what's currently happening. Um, above there, they've tabbed this level, so they might not come there. Here, they've also tabbed here. They might come again and tap again the second time. Uh, I can also see a very interesting uh, imbalance, which is here. They can also come and tap the imbalance or straight away tap the level that is just connected to the imbalance. I don't know who is drawing on my chart uh, with this. Right, so US 30, this is my current structure right now. The only thing now that we can do after having all our our clear main structures like this on a, on a one hour and even the high time frame, we now have the only thing left now is to go to a, a lower, 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 lower time frame, like your 15 minute. That, that's the guidance that can help you to see how far even this push can even come. So if it does manage to come here, yeah, then we get some confirmations, we we'll take some cells. So it will basically now be flowing in, sort of like a bearish, 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 bearish. If they want to keep on buying, they'll even tap here. Then they will do the shift. Then they will keep on buying. But if they now want to change character, they they can maintain that overall bearish move up until they take out this leg. So this is my main structure for this week on US thirty. That's the main my main structure for this week on US thirty is basically this one. So fifteen minute. I'm just going there to identify this current uh structure, which is here. One thing that I like there is the fact that here. We now have this as an adjustment. So on the 15 minute, one thing that you must realize is also the fact that um the fact that these this uh one hour uh inducement, when you're looking at it from a 15 minute perspective, it will basically appear as a change of character, which it is. So now these inside legs will be formed by inducement when you're looking at it from a 15 minute perspective so here they've induced it means literally we now have this as our leg so if this market shoots up that will be a beautiful uh if you want to partake also in the trades that will be happening up there you just need to wait at least for wait for something like this once they come here and break here you know have a new high they can even do a pullback you know okay you can even enter buys even there so they you will be busy buying into uh either this imbalance right there, they can tap that imbalance, or ultimately even that whole level as a whole. Then once they do the shift, you just take sales to the downside. So this is our current flow right now. So if here now they now take this out, if they now take this out, you now need to 
re 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 replace your entries uh very well so right now so far this is what is currently happening there on the 15m right here on that demand and they can even tap here and start doing exactly this that i've just stated so once they create a new high going that will just be a minor structure going to the upside you can even take buys there once they break there you can even lock uh, that trade or shift stop loss to break even with that trade and you hold as far as maybe this level which is inside there they can even come and tap uh this level right there before they drop so if there are any changes that will happen to structure you just need to be flexible enough to adjust to those changes changes like if ever now it breaks there means your your new your new your new entry will no longer be all the way up there they will now just be confined to this zone up until they get to wherever they want to get to down there so currently this is what i'm seeing uh, let me see if I can add another last confluence to this. Uh, I, have a, I have my Fibonacci there. I can put it like that. I can also put it like this. Both ways, they are okay. So if it comes there, that would be a beautiful thing. Very, very beautiful thing if it comes there. Very, very beautiful thing if it comes there. So now, even... Let me... Right, so this is our level where we had the same pulse move. So we anticipate the market to come back into the level there before they go. We anticipate them to come back into the level before they go. So even if they don't come back there now, even if they do something like this, if they come and take this out, then they come back into your level. Both the entry will still be valid there. So literally now, I want this market to tap here. Once it taps there, another confirmation also, if ever you just, you're just someone who wants extra confirmation before you jump in. Uh, you can literally see that here, this is 1M. Once we get to 1M, if you notice here, they are, this is downward structure, bearish structure, right? So if they come, come tap your zone like this then they do a shift structure that's also another solid confirmation that you can wait for uh for those that really like a uh, solid solid confirmations once you see this you definitely strike even even after taking this out you can even buy before even the pull back as this pulls back, pulls back here you can even add more buys so currently this is the current state of us 30 that we are having um on the one hour i said that we can have a slight pullback there then it can even then it can even once it shifts there it can even continue with this overall bearish uh market structure up until they wipe all this liquidity if they want to keep on buying they will definitely keep on buying uh like that so all these things that people draw trend lines uh whatever 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 those things uh if if the market structure is not in alignment with your trend line. That trend line will be good as useless. If market structure is not in alignment with your trend line, that trend line will be good as useless. So that's one thing that people who draw trend lines don't understand. Personally, I don't. I no longer need these in order for me to see where the market is coming from or going because I'm looking at the market as as raw as it is. Instead of trying to use a trend line to say. Okay, I broke out of a trend line now, so we're coming back here to someone can explain it in that way. But the real the real most important thing is the structure. If structure comes on that level and doesn't change, this thing will be broken and it will keep on buying. You understand? So these things, they 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 they, they there's a lot of shallow information. There's too much uh data that trend lines cannot address about the markets. That's why you see there are moments where the trend line will even be broken. After being broken, the market will keep on going where it was going. You understand? So there are so many cases that I can show you where trend lines were broken. After being broken, the market kept going. Here, the trend line was broken to the downside, but the market kept on going up. 
so many so many situations that I can show you, but for the sake of time, let's move on to our next pair. Let me move on to gold so that I, I create a balance there. Because uh, let me move on to gold. Then from gold, I'll come back maybe. I'll go to a currency pair just to create a balance there. Right, so gold. Um, gold as well. It's also giving some very good, very good setups this week. Uh, let me remove this. I had a structure already last week uh, that I was having. Uh, so yeah, I might not need to go to the highest of time frames monthly or whatever, because right now you can literally see that we have been bullish. This is all bullish order flow that you are seeing on gold. And it's actually on its highest high. This is the highest high that gold has ever gone to. The only way, uh, the only way to go whenever prices establish its highest high, it's obviously down, not, not literally up per se. Even that down, even if it is not a deep down, uh, it can just be a down that is within that order flow, which is bullish. So yeah, order flow was still bullish if you notice, and they tapped an extreme demand, which was where upon the shift there you would have even gotten some beautiful buys. So now, looking at uh, where the market is currently, uh, let's identify. We're going to identify an inducement according to the daily is this one that the market must induce. So they have to take out the inducement before they, if the, even if they want to keep on buying, they can tap here or even tap the fair value gap right there, or even this one. So those are two major zones that will just be below there, uh, waiting for the market to induce, tap there, then if they want to keep on buying, they can even still keep on buying. So this is the information that we're having on the daily. Uh, let's go to the four hour. Four hour, I believe, uh, you can literally see that that daily inducement, remember what I've told you that, the daily inducement, whenever you convert it or when you're now looking at it from a four-hour perspective, it will appear as a change of character. That's just the difference in time frames. That's just due to the difference in time frames. It's nothing, it's nothing deep. It's just due to the difference in time frame. So yeah, this is also still a bullish order flow running there on the four hour. That uh, was still so bullish order flow still being maintained like that. It still meant that buyers were still in charge buyers were still in charge. I showed you this entry that you could have gotten here. Uh, then your TP obviously was going to be up there. Even even before it reached, even after reaching that, you st you st you, if you look at structure, it still remained bullish. That inside structure still remained bullish. So this was our next target up there like this. That was an inducement. This, this is not a change of character that you're seeing here. People, they confuse inducements with change of characters. That is literally an inducement there. Uh, if you notice my analysis, my main analysis is always on the higher time frames, higher time frames, higher time frames all the time. That's where your main analysis must always be found, on the higher time frame. Because why, why, why the higher time frame? Because there is uh, more clarity there and lead to lead to fake outs. If ever, if ever there are going to be any fake outs, you literally understand that on the high time frame there will literally be very few fake outs. So yeah, they induced to the upside, making that a leg, and eventually they came back to the level. Right, you could have bought immediately stop loss below. And even here, this was a confirmation that was that happened inside, coming back to retest that level. That was a straight, straight up buy. They tapped the fair value gap around there. Straight up, straight up easy buy that you could have ended right there. As you enter that buy, you could have targeted this short term TP and also that one as the next one. So even if you follow structure, even as it was going up, let me show you how you can even, how you're even supposed to take those trades. Someone can come and draw all these things. You hear me? I'm, 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 I, I don't, personally, I don't need to draw this in order for me to identify my interest or to know that we are going up. That channel was broken because we are going up. <laughs> People, they think the channel is the, the reason why the market went up. No, 
the channel was actually broken because we we're actually now going up. So here, there was a new high, new low. Once we break that new high, because now, once they have done this, they mustn't induce up until they take out that leg up there. So that was a new high, new low. Then on that new low, you would have entered more buys as well. Stop loss could have been below here. New high. Once you now have a new high, immediately once you now have a new high like this, and then they come back, they came back to the extreme there, you could have even added more buys here. All those were entries that I'm showing you now. Let me just mark them uh, as as they as they were. All those were entries that you could have simply been entering. There, that was an entry. Someone can say, ah, is that a support? No, it's not a support. It's not a support because if I say the support already, I'm 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 lying to you because at the end of the day, that's not the reason why that market went up. Right? So they broke that high, came back to the same higher low, in internal higher low there. So you could have even added more buys there. Even after breaking there, coming back to tap the extreme demand as well as this favorly gap, you would have also bought there as well. So there were so many entries that were there on gold so many that entry that entry and uh, here that entry that entry after breaking there you could have entered there after breaking there giving you this pullback slight pullback here right you could have even bought again where right there stop loss could have been below here you see very very simple stuff even after breaking here if you go to a lower time frame, your one hour, your 15 minute, once you identify that break easily, you can even buy out the breakout there. Once you buy the breakout, you can put your stop loss below that leg. Same thing with that one also. Same thing with uh, this last one. So all those were entries that were available to you on gold. All those were entries that were available to you on gold, right? So right now on the four hour, Looking at structure from a four-hour perspective, they've taken this out and have they induced? That's the first important question. Have they induced? So this was a high. That was a low. This is basically considered as one whole leg like this. Push down, up like that. So it's basically they are basically considering that as one simple leg like that since these legs are within this leg. So right now, once they induce here, it means the inside pullback can now can now happen. To which level? There are so many levels that are here with this demand, with that other demand, with this huge fair value gap. So there are so many levels that are there. Even if it wants to keep on buying, it will basically pull back into those levels before going up. So now we now go down to the one hour. Right. So all these were simple, simple buy entries that <laughs> you're just supposed to take advantage of as the market was now shooting all the way to the upside. Very simple buy entries. Very, very simple buy entries. Yeah, let me put this. Right, so looking at where we are now on gold, looking at where we are up there, looking at the one hour time frame and where we are up there. On the one hour, you can literally see that there's uh, some sort of structure there. Right, there's some sort of structure. That was a new high, that was a new low, uh, like this. Let me see if ever they induced there. New high, new low, new high, new low. There was a new high, new low. There was a new high there. Then they came and took, took this out. Okay, so we can literally consider that as an inducement, uh, which is just here as, an, uh, as a one hour inducement like that. Then this is going to be 
our change of character just looking at that scenario that we are seeing now. So you can literally see that inside here, they are still maintaining this bearish flaw. They can maintain that if ever they want to take this leg out, they can maintain that up until they take that leg out as well as tap maybe this level gap and imbalance before they pull back. So before they pull back all the way now to some of these levels up there like this, already they are now maintaining this down, up, they broke the down came back up, they broke. So now here, this was a simple cell that you would have taken here. They are still maintaining this. They can maintain this up until, if they want to check this out, beautiful. They'll take this out. Then once they induce to the upside, you can take buys. Then once they come to the zone and now induce to the downside again, you can now take those huge cells to the downside like this. So this is the current flow in which gold is flowing at. This is the current flow in which gold is flowing at so once i've seen this i can literally go now to 15 minute uh those are just minor minor setups that are within here these are not really big 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 setup per se that was a break that was a break uh, now we're anticipating another break uh right so here I'm preparing you for all the scenarios that are basically going to happen on gold. If it maintains that and changes character, beautiful. Then once they now induce to the upside, you can take buys into that level. And also, if they now induce, if they now change this flow, this bearish flow before they change character, you also adjust to that, right? What do I mean? If they now come, for example, here yeah, this is now this will now be your leg, right? Let's say they now come before changing character. And they now, uh, maybe let's say after breaking, they now come, they take this out. Definitely you have to take buys because now they will most probably be coming to take this leg out. If they don't take it out, it's also fine, but they will basically be coming all the way up there from there. So it's all about you understanding uh, structure, understanding also how to, how to move with, with structure. If you don't understand how to move with structure, you will miss out on a lot of on a lot of uh, moves that will be happening on the market because you have a, an anticipate a, a zone that you'll be anticipating the market to come and reach in your mind. But if the market doesn't reach that, so yeah, this was a simple simple trade. They tapped into the level here. You would have even gone to as far as the five minute to see the shift. After tapping the level here, where was the shift? The shift was literally right uh here that was the shift after the shift they gave you this minor pullback into this supply that was a very simple cell very 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 simple cell that would have ended there obviously because it's still these are still short term trades short term trades you just need to hold as far as there because they're not they're not yet long term trades because we haven't changed characters yet so there's no need for you to so even after this inducement to the upside there's a way of entering this buy as well. This counter buy, there's a way of entering it. A uh, new high, new low here. After breaking it, you can even buy here, stop loss below here. Those are crazy, crazy dangerous entries on the market. Dangerous in, in a good way, whereby once you understand them, how they really operate, you become dangerous on the market. So here, you would have bought there. Then they, when they now do the shift here, you, you are supposed to sell because they are giving you this bearish structure at the end of the day. So there, there was the sell there, stop loss above here. Right now, this is a trade that you are supposed to be holding even till now. So this is what is currently happening on gold, still flowing, still going down, still going down. The only question now in mind is, are we going to succeed to change character? Because uh, one thing that people don't realize is that when you are in such a decisive moment, like that's a push, this can literally be a pullback. How do you know that it's a pullback? If they fail to change character, it was simply a pullback. Then you see them shifting structure, then continuing with overall where they were going, right? But obviously, we just focus on where the market is right now. If there's any change, we adjust to that change. 
But if there's no change, you just keep maintaining the flow. Here, we are coming down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Here, we've taken sales stop loss above there. That's the new down. They can even come and tap here. You can even sell from there, which is around here. You can even take sales. And these are still minor, minor trades, not really those swing, swing moves where you anticipate the market to now hold for a very long time because we haven't changed characters yet. That's why they are not big, big, big moves as yet. So they're just small moves inside there like that. So even here, that was a simple sell to the downside. After this, after taking out that, that was a simple sell. You could have sold immediately there. These are called inducement entries. People, they don't, they have never been informed about these ones. People, they think that's a support that has been broken. But that's not even that idea. That's not even the real, that's not the real idea behind that. Uh, just in case you think, ah, it's a support that isn't broken. No, it's not a support. It's structure that is shifted. <laughs> that's the cause. So yeah, they can even come here. You can even take a sell because they are still pushing into here. So if they keep on maintaining that bearish flow, you can even hold in and hold beyond the change of character. If they keep on maintaining, you can hold this as there. So for now, this is what is currently happening on gold. Uh, just a real quick snip on um on 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 G GBP USD. Um, uh, I had a very beautiful trade. Um, I think I spoke about this trade on a live. Those that joined my TikTok live on was it Friday? Yeah, Friday. I did speak about this buy. This one. I this one I did speak about it. It was a very simple trade. I said once you see the just coming come back to the level you buy. If you bought there already by now, you can even put stop loss to break even like this, or even just put it like that. So we spoke about this buy and also the current structure inside there. We said our current structure is still bullish. It's still bullish. Um, we are still having a bullish structure, and as we are coming down, they are also coming down in a bullish, in a bearish way. I mean, obviously in a bearish way. So I said two things can happen on GU right now. The market can maintain this bearish flow up until they change character. So that's why you are still focused on this inside structure, which is bearish. So that buy is basically a buy to facilitate this pull back into the supply, which I said they can actually pull back into that supply before the overall continuation drop to the downside. So it's a very simple, 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 simple downward structure that is currently happening. Down, up, down, up like that, down, up like that, down. They can even come here. If they change, beautiful. Once they change, that will be a beautiful thing. We now want the overall pull back before the overall downward, like this. So right now, this buy is just a pull back into that one hour level. Nothing serious. So all you do, if you want to catch it, you just follow the principles of structure and order flow. They don't have to, they mustn't induce up until they tap that level. Right? So you knowing that they mustn't induce up until they tap that level. You just need to identify your correct legs there. Once you identify your correct legs, um, what's this? US dollar is DXY. Yes, that's the dollar index. That's a high, that's a low. So we anticipate them to come and check this out. Go, we go, we go. So these are these are just the short the trades that we are currently seeing right now that are available to us right now is this one. This one, they are now coming to check this out. Uh, to do a break there. A simple, simple, simple break. So someone who is in buys right now, they are correct, very correct. So here yeah, you can even show shift stop loss to break even because even this sub inner structure, it already turned bullish. That was a low, that was a high, that was a low. Then they took out this, that was a new high. So even when they came here, you would have also bought 
Um, you could have also bought here. You could have also bought here. When they come in, come back, I don't know where they're going to pull back to. You can also buy up until they get where they want to get up there. So this is what is currently happening on GBPUSD. I've done the analysis on larger time frame. What do you mean? You guys, I've done this analysis. Like the G, I've been analyzing for a very long time. If you have not been attending, that's the reason why you're asking me to go to a larger time frame. That's a simple inducement. That's a break. Uh, that's a simple inducement like this. That's a break. Uh, that's a break of structure. That's a change of character. And we are now anticipating sales to the downside. But before the sales happened, we obviously anticipate the pullback. Very simple structure, very simple order flow. Push, we change character, pull back, then we'll continue. So that's why I'm saying where the market tapped, it tapped almost one of the extreme levels. That's why this, you are seeing this bearish move that is currently happening inside. Uh, it can even flow all the way up until once you see them changing this character, know that we are now having those swing moves to the downside. You just wait for a reasonable pullback. We are now having this swing sell to the downside, which I'm anticipating to come and break this level downwardly. That's the first major target is here. This trade from year to date took almost six from October till today. It was still bullish. So it's also going to be a swing sell once they've done this. Once they've done this, it's going to be a swing, swing, swing sell. For now, they're not they're not really swing sells as yet because that confirmation, this one hasn't happened. So for now, we're just looking inside our current inside structure. This is the one that we are literally trading right now, which is bearish, yes. So we just flow with it and see how the market will be behaving. Uh, but it's still bearish. You can also see so many signs of being bearish. Even last week, this was a sell that you would have taken. Uh, even this week, you can also, I spoke about the buy as well as the sell from that region. So, so many, these are just the inside structures or inside uh, inside moves that you're just focusing on now up until we change that character. So I think uh, that is it for today. More, mo most of the, most of the, what do you call this? Most of the, most of the other, other pairs, we're going to look at them just uh, on TikTok. We're going to be, we're going to be live on TikTok today. So uh, those that want to see how other other pairs that I didn't mention you will be doing, you just need to come there, attend the TikTok live and make sure you are present as you will be talking about those other pairs. So for this one, we are done. That's the whole analysis and the whole projection of what we are having right now on our different pairs that we spoke about.